The industrial world continues to grow and proliferate across the globe. But the Great Bear Rainforest still offers a rare natural sanctuary. A refuge critical to the whales, dolphins and porpoises, known collectively as cetaceans, of the Pacific Ocean. Fish and forage are still abundant in these waters. The full spectrum of marine species and ecological processes still working as nature intended. The movements and migration of whales are still unfettered by the crowds of commercial shipping further to the south. And these waters are still silent, save for the sound of the whales themselves. But a new threat is preparing to snake its way through the Great Bear Rainforest. A proposal to use the world's largest supertankers to ship oil ripped from the Alberta tar sands to the hungry energy markets overseas. One to two times a day, laden with tar sand crude and the chemicals required for its extraction. These tankers would plough through the Great Bear's rocky and storm-ravaged channels. Catastrophe is a matter of when, not if. For the cetaceans of the Great Bear rainforest, such an oil spill would be especially disastrous. Critical habitat destroyed and the marine food chain contaminated. The oil-slicked waters would then suffocate and starve these sensitive animals instead of sustaining them. And even if the Great Bear escapes an oil spill catastrophe, from the moment the proposed shipping terminal begins operation, this once peaceful refuge will be instantly contaminated by a cacophony of industrial noise that can poison a whale's world as surely and completely as any toxic spill. Underwater sound is critical to the survival of cetaceans, and they have evolved highly specialized physiology and behaviors for using acoustics to live in their marine world. Some industrial sounds are so powerful they can permanently maim or even kill whales. But the most sinister, long-term danger is that increasing levels of shipping noise make it impossible for cetaceans to use sound to feed, communicate, and navigate. Their song and their survival are effectively drowned out by the industrial roar that fills the water. Oil supertankers are by far the loudest of all ships. So loud that the acoustic footprint they create could be some 20 kilometers in diameter. Imagine that these super tankers will be traveling daily, potentially over 500 tanker trips a year, on a course that will leave huge swaths of acoustic dead zones across some of the Pacific Ocean's most critical habitat for cetaceans. While the Great Bear Rainforest is still a refuge for cetaceans, we must be aware of threats. Please visit pacificwild.org and lend your voice to keeping the Great Bear Rainforest free from oil tanker traffic and protect this pure and pristine habitat.